And joining us live now is Governor Ihor Terekov. He's the governor of the city of Kharkiv. It's Ukraine's second largest city and has become defined and known as a city that's come under the most aggressive attacks from Russia. This is a city, remember, that is only 40 kilometers from the Russian border. Governor Terekov, thank you for speaking to India today. I'd like to start by asking you what the current situation is, sir, in your city, Kharkiv, right now. Unfortunately, the situation in Kharkiv is it's really tough and disturbing. Russia is currently bombing the whole city. They are bombing the residential areas as well as the critical infrastructure of the whole city. Unfortunately, there are a lot of people died. People dying every day. People are trying to get uh, to, to buy some foods or goods. And at that time, unfortunately, there are still bombing and a lot of people dying. So the situation is really, really tough and disturbing. Governor Terekov, how much of the city of Kharkiv has been damaged so far? We've been seeing video after video of the attacks on your city. How much of it is damaged right now? During these 11 days, uh, they are still bombing us every day during the day and during the night. Thousands of people are trying to uh, find another shelter, uh, police stations, municipal buildings, as well as residential areas are under bombing, are under attack. Kharkiv is really damaged. Is the city of Kharkiv, Governor, on the verge of falling into Russian hands, or is Ukraine still in control? The Ukrainian city, it remains under control. The head of the Kharkiv, the mayor and his team are still working every day. So Kharkiv remains the Ukrainian city. Is the city of Kharkiv under siege at this point of time, sir? Have the Russian forces entered the city or are they on the outside? There are no uh, Russian military in the city. They are located outside the city in the perimeter. Russian militaries are trying to sneak into the city in the small groups. Governor Terekov, how long can Kharkiv hold on with its current levels of protection? Kharkiv won't give up. Governor, does the city of Kharkiv have enough food and water? Because when we've been reporting on the ground, there have been a lot of citizen concerns that food and water may be running out if the city gets cut off. As of now, uh, people have enough uh, water in their homes. They, uh, they are sitting in, uh, in worms. The heating systems are working fine. And of course, they have electricity. My final question to you, Governor. Have you asked for help from other parts of Ukraine? Is help coming in? We have asked the friends of our city, uh, other mayors from Ukraine and biggest cities, to support us in these tough times. They replied and they are providing all the necessary foods and goods. So we are more or less fine with it. People have enough food and water, as well as medicine. Governor Ihor Terekov of Kharkiv, thank you very much for speaking to India today. Stay safe and we will continue to report from your city. Thanks for joining us here on India Today.